This is a brief overview on how we'd like to use Paperleaf for the program. First thing, go ahead and click sign up or log in. And you should use the California Connects Twitter account to sign in and you should know the password. So it'll verify that you are an official user. And then go ahead and click up in the top right hand corner and click paper settings. So, you have a few options. You can change the title, the subtitle and description, and add an editor's note. What we have in here right now is just a placeholder. Feel free to change it and also add Spanish. You can change the weekly edition, morning and evening editions, or daily edition. It's currently set to daily edition, but we'll discuss that later and figure out what the best setting is for us. And you can change the preferred time for it to update. You can also add content sources, currently set up to track any term related to California Connects on the internet as well as all of our Twitter accounts, all 19 of them. We're also tracking mentions of the digital divide and BTOP. You can only track 25 sources, so we're near the limit already. The next thing that you're able to do is add content from the paper from anywhere on the web. And you do this by dragging this paperly button up to your browser's toolbar up here. Once you do that, you'll have a shortcut up here. Mine's off to the side because I have too many shortcuts, but it's right there. Once you have that, if you're looking for articles to add to the paper, all you need to do is once you find an article, go ahead and click paper.ly. And to add the article, just make sure it's checked and select a paper. And that's it. In order to see the article on your paper, you're going to need to just click your refresh button right there. Don't click update paper. I learned that one the hard way. Nothing terribly bad happens, but they don't like it at paper.lee.com. You can also change the appearance of the paper. Right now we have the logo as our tiled background, but that's that can be changed. You can see the stats of the paper. Let's go ahead and take a look. So currently we're pulling in those Twitter accounts and also you can see the article that we just posted here. And we'd of course like to post articles from the various blogs from the various counties. So that button will come in handy for you once we get those going. But Paperly will be just another source of information for the program once we carefully curate and add the links to it, either weekly or daily, whatever we can keep up with. And you see at the bottom here is our Twitter feed. And that's it. Have fun.